Hello, let's continue our Sudoku adventure with Endless Entropy by Matt Tressel. So this continues our loop theme week. Hope you're enjoying drawing the loops all week. <laughs> um, but as always, the, the rules are different other than that the fact that we're drawing a loop. So pay attention to the rules in each puzzle, including this one. Let's go over them together. So we have normal six by six Sudoku rules. So in each row, each column, and each two by three box, we are placing the digits one to six exactly once each. We're also drawing an entropy loop. So first of all, let's go over the loop rules. A loop is orthogonally connected, meaning you always move to a cell that shares an edge. So you can't draw a loop like, like you can't, you can't like go diagonally and come back around like that, right? Because these aren't actually connected. You have to be connected orthogonally. So I could connect here and here, and now I have a loop. Um, but you can't just like omit this and say, oh, it goes across. That's not allowed. So we need a loop like this. The other rule is it can't touch itself. So a really simple example would be you're not allowed to do something like this. Even though I could draw a loop like, like so, um, it's touching itself here. You can see that there's no reason. These, these two are not allowed to touch it, touch because they're you know different parts of the loop. It's coming back around and touching itself. Not allowed. It also can't touch itself diagonally. So let's find an example of that. So I always have trouble drawing one that touches itself diagonally, but... This wouldn't actually work as a loop because we can't come back around, but you can see that these touch, touch diagonally, and that's not allowed. Even if I came back up around here and we didn't touch orthogonally, this diagonal touch is not allowed. All right, in addition to that, the loop is entropic. So let's just draw a simple loop here. And what entropic means is that if I take any three adjacent cells along the loop, it's overlapping adjacent cells. So these three, these three, these three, these three, every set of three cells that are three in a row on the loop um, we have one low, one medium, and one high digit. So low is one, two, medium is three, four, high is five, six. So if this was a two, then this group of three now already has a low. It needs a medium and a high. So maybe the high would be five and maybe the medium would be four. So this would be valid. We have one low, one medium, one high in these three that I highlighted. They don't have to be in order. They just have to be existing. But now notice that these three also still need one of each. Um, and it's missing the low, so we would have to put a one there. And now these three, etc. So it continues across the loop. Um, okay, one last rule. We have these pointers in the grid, these little arrows. Um, the pointers are always on the loop. In addition to that, they count the number of cells they see on the loop. So let's just take this one here. Let's say the loop did something like so. Um, I want to come back around, but I don't... Okay, if I want to come back around, I have to do something like that. So let's say the loop did something along these lines. This Even even this doesn't work, but anyway, this would be a 1. Now why? Because non-loop cells block vision, and we don't count ourselves. So this would be a 1 because it sees exactly one cell before hitting a non-loop cell. And so that 1 is telling us that we're basically... We got one more cell on the loop, and then nothing else in it. it, it you have to have a non-loop after that. Yeah, I guess that's the, kind of the point. Um... And that's it. Those are the rules. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself. And I'm going to get started right now. I think one of the clearest things to do is to put the loop or put the carrot and the, the, the cell that the carrot looks at both in the loop because we can't put a zero in a carrot. The only way I would actually be non loop next to a carrot is if I could put a zero in it because it doesn't count itself. So that is clear. Also, this is on a corner. And you always have to take corners, right? Because every cell on the loop is going to have two uh, adjacent cells on the loop that share an edge. And there's only two edges. So we have to take both of these in. And now because we are not allowed to co ever come back to this cell, we'd be touching ourselves. We can mark that gray as non-loop. And now this actually has to continue further like this. Um, that does make this at least two. So I guess it's two, three, four, five. It can't actually be six. None of the carrots can be six because we would have to see six cells after, and there's only five in existence. So this is two, three, four, five. This is definitely a one. It has to, you know, <laughs> it has to stop at the edge. Um, this is the only cell it sees. Now we can't come back up because we'd have to come through here and we'd touch ourselves. So this is not a loop cell. And so now this is a corner. So we have to take the corner. This is not a loop cell. So this is another corner. It, it's, I know it's straight through, but you can think of it in the same logic as a corner. It only has two two ways to go. So it's got to go both ways. And that connects us up. Um, I could do the entropy at this point. Um, I may have to. Okay, so let's think about entropy here. Let's, let's call this blue. We know blue is low because there's a one on it. Um, and then let's call this purple and this orange. 
So what I'm saying is, I don't know whether this, which of purple orange is medium or high. I feel like I'm going to find out in a second. But um, what I do know is that they're different when we have one of each here. So every grouping of three that we have on this loop, we're going to have one of each color. And so now here you can see that we are missing the blue. So this has to be blue. And that's going to make us cycle because here we're missing the purple and here we're missing the orange. So we're always going to go, go blue, purple, orange, blue, purple, orange. So our next cell is going to be blue. Um, so actually we could continue this because, uh, is it always the same distance away from this guy? The ta I think it's going to have to take a taxi cab distance. We can't come back up here. So this is definitely going to go down or left. Once we go down, uh, we're never taking this one. So once we go down, we take the corner, we connect to this guy. So that would be two cells before hitting here. And the only other option is to go left. And now we can't diagonally ever, we can't ever diagonally touch. We, we're, we're never going to come back around here to finish the loop unless we just do it immediately by going down or left. So yeah, it is always two cells away. And so orange, we can just count it, right? This would be orange and then after orange is blue. So orange, blue, purple. So this has to be orange. And now this is blue. And now this is purple. And right. So I was going to come back over here, but let's keep coloring uh, first. So after purple is orange. So orange and then blue. And our next cell is going to be purple. All right, so first of all, uh, what I wanted to point out is purple and orange are definitely the, the this is the low, right? One or two. So purple and orange are the mid, medium or high. Six is already high. I'm not going to color every cell, just the ones on the loop, I think. Um, but this is already high. So how could purple be high? If purple was high, we would need both five and six in here. And the six is up here. So these have to be the three, four pair. And then this has to be a five. Um, and so now we know orange is high. So this is from five, six. This is from five, six. This is one, two, one, two, five, six. And this has to be from three, four. So we need to see at least three cells. So this has to continue to here. And that's going to be purple. That's our other three, four. Um, and we either have to immediately turn so that this is non-loop, if this was a three, or we have to take this one and then turn. I'm not sure how we're doing that. All right. Is there more I can do loop-wise? Is there more I can do uh, entropy? I mean, this is a five, six pair. These are from one, two, three, four. Does that affect, um, can the loop do this? So after orange, well, this would be blue. And this, uh, hold on. Yeah, we'd be blue and then purple. So this would be the other three, four. This would be a one, two. That works out just fine. Hmm. It have to do with how to continue here. We need to continue with an orange. So if we went up, this would be a five or six. If we went right, it would be a six for sure. Huh. Did I get all these? Oh, this arrow here. Duh. Sorry. The one, you know, there's only a few clues on the grid, and I was ignoring this one. This is three or four, so we can't just see one cell. Uh, we need to see at least three cells, so we are going to see three. Um, that makes this a three and this a four while I'm at it. Uh, and so now this does continue. This, this after orange is blue, and then after blue is purple. So that does connect up the way I said it would. That's a one or a two. Um, this is purple, so it has to be the four. That makes this three and four. Um, there's a lot to follow up on here, but this three tells us that we're done. This has to not be non-loop, so the loop has to move to the right. And that, that is going to be orange, and the only orange left is six for the row. Um, after orange would be blue. That seems reasonable. Or blue here would be a two. Seems reasonable. All right, this is never going to be loop. Um, because we would touch ourselves diagonally here. Um, and we touch ourselves here also. That's easier. Um, whenever we kind of take a turn, that fourth one in that, in that block is never a loop. These are never going to be loop. Um, this can't be loop because we'd be coming around and touching ourselves. Uh, and the same thing here. This can't be loop because we would be coming down and getting stuck. Right? Can't branch, basically. Um, so we're going to go up or right. Do I have all my arrows taken care of? That's a three. That's a three. That's a one. Yeah, all my arrows are taken care of. Is there a problem with taking this corner, maybe? I'm thinking about how we have a given six here. I mean, I guess this is a one, two. Maybe there's Sudoku. That's a one, two pair here, one, two pair here. I need the other orange. I need the four. And I need the five, six. Mm -hmm. 
do wonder, this is a one, two pair. So three, four, five, six. So the six ends up over here. So, uh, and the four, the four and the six need to go here. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. This is a four, six pair. This one, two has to end up here. So this is a blue can go after orange. So that would work. Um, and so down here we have one, two, four, six, we need three, five. And so then this is one, two, three, five. Um, actually it's just one, two, three for the row. Okay. Uh, does that maybe, is there a problem with this being a two? Yes. This is a one, two pair. So this can't be a two, so it can't be blue. So the, so we have to continue here to grab a blue. Um, and now after blue, we need a purple. So we could get a purple three here. Um, or we could get a purple three here. Either way, there's a three in one of these two. Uh, do I want to use that logic to say this can't be three? I can say this is never loop. So we're never going to get into here because we get, we get stuck. So none of these are loop. Um, our loop is quite limited in where it can go, but I mean, we could even do, I mean, we need to, we need the correct number of cells such that these blues loop correctly. So working backwards, um, or sorry, work, let's work forward. So from the blue, we would need a purple next. So the purple would go in one of these two. Uh, I'm just going to go both paths here. And then we would need an orange next. And so the orange would go in one of these two. So we could easily do this turn or this turn. But let's say we went up and did this orange. After orange, we would need blue. And then after blue, we would need purple. We can't touch ourselves. And now we'd go from purple to blue, which isn't allowed. So we can't actually come up here. So what we're doing is we're going either straight here or straight here. Um, so this is, this is on the loop. We don't know which of these is the three. But we know this one is the five because the six is already used. We know we cannot ever take these two, because they wouldn't, again, even without this on the loop, these wouldn't uh, be the correct number of digits away for the blues to connect properly. So now one of these is purple, this is not taken. Okay, so this is gonna be one, four, five. Not four, oh, the four is placed. Uh, oh, this five tells us five in this column goes here. That's a three, if column finishes with a three, that's not five. That's a four, six pair. Okay, so up here we have two, three. Um, that means that down here we have two, six. Okay. So, oh, this cannot be a three because we placed this three. Okay, so since we need the three next to it, that's purple. This is on the loop. That's our three. And now, now our loop is done. Our entropic loop is done. That's our one. That's a two. That's a one and a one. That's a two and a one. That's a two. All right, we got our five and one and six and two. I'm, w I'm starting to wonder if coloring every cell would have been helpful, but we're already done. That's five, that's six, that's four, that's five, that's six, that's four, that's six, and we're done. All right, it's possible that full coloring would have been more helpful than just coloring the, the loop, but it is what it is. Cool, I got through it. Um, yeah, I feel like I, uh, I, I liked this, this part here where we had to end up connecting the two blues together and coming up around this way would have just not worked to um to be able to uh match up the the cycle so that was kind of neat so yeah any any entropic loop has to be a specific uh, divisible by three length maybe that's how i should have thought about it we needed a divisible by three length in total so you can you we could you know just group up threes here and see that's divisible by three length all right cool um well uh, I enjoyed that. Let me know how you did. If you enjoyed it, why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.